Hey, how are you? I pray everything is going well with you. This would be a random Bible reading, or not so random Bible reading uh, tonight. Pray your day went well. It is a Saturday. Fantastic day out there today outside in the Central Florida area. Probably, uh, uh, specifically Claremont, Claremont, Florida. You got uh, Lake Mineola, Waterfront Park, the whole trail all along that whole area. Victory Point, like Lake Hiawatha Reserve. Um, uh, very awesome place. What makes it more awesome is the uh, all the hundreds, hundreds, possibly thousands of people that come uh, to the trail, to the the waterfront park, to the splash pad, that are on boats, jet skis, and uh, people, 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 uh, all creations of God. He knows all of them and loves all of them, even if they sin against Him and are disobedient. He loves all of them so so much so important so important to remember that he is a good good father that is um looking for us looking for us to surrender to his will for our life so yeah all these people out there and we're built to be in relationship relationship with our heavenly father with jesus christ relationship with him so we have access to the father and we have access to uh heaven to eternal life it's pretty pretty amazing to to see all the people and see uh they're all from different areas or you say walks of life and uh and they've all experienced something very deep very or they are right now so whatever you think they're struggling with you're struggling with times it by 10 to 100 and start seeing it that way or yeah the things that we've all been through or what we're going through right now yeah just multiply it by 10 and that's how it feels on the heart on the chest in our mind because you hear about this for decades but coming towards end times i don't get into that too much i just put faith in jesus and he's got me i've got eternal life and i'm going to be obedient to his word but um uh, devil knows that something is up so he's coming after us even harder all of us even harder uh so be very very careful with that be strong and courageous so this will be not a random bible reading joshua Joshua 1, God's commission to Joshua. So the word of God is God breathed. And it is, uh, this is written specifically to Joshua. But all of these Bible stories, take out that name and insert your name. And that's what he is saying to you right now. Uh, Joshua was commanded to do certain things. Uh, and he had to be obedient to it, just like Jesus was uh, obedient to the very end, obedient to the point of death. Um, so, let's get into this. You'll get it more. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all this people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory now you think he's saying i wouldn't say these specific places to us uh, but he's saying that exactly to us all right uh, not saying that exactly but wherever we're at this is all his and he wants to give this to you if you're obedient to it and don't have fear check this out no man shall be able to stand before you all of the days of your life just as i was with moses so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. For you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, 
so that you may be careful to do all according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1. And then Joshua does assume the command. He was the, the commanding officer of so many soldiers to fulfill that purpose. So, <sighs> be strong and courageous. Stay focused on God and what his word says. And all these stories, all of his history are there to um, show us what he has done in history with his other children. You know, and the things that he's asked them to do and they did it. So, those are inspiring, true stories we all inspire each other based on our testimonies and what we did to make it through whatever it is we needed to do or how focused we were on what God commands us to do in Old Testament or New Testament. It says, be sure to follow everything I have commanded you, right? <laughs> Super important. Yeah, grace has came in, but it says, be sure to follow it. And that still absolutely applies. And if you don't, he still loves you so incredibly much more than you can imagine. Uh, you may not feel it at times, but that's you. That's a feeling. It's not the truth. The truth is he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. So um, let that sink in a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Love you all. Stay in the Word of God and stay in prayer. You need to meditate that day and night to know that. So when you know... When you have a relationship with Jesus, when you know the Word of God, and you don't have anything to worry about because you know your Father always comes through. Um, just like if you are a young kid and you know your, your your earthly Father always comes through, your mom and dad always comes through, there's nothing you got to worry about, right? So stay focused on that. I was going to say something else very important, but I thought that was maybe a more <laughs> important Stay focused. Be in prayer, all right? Be in the Word of God. Be in prayer. Put this, uh, it should be in your heart. It should be on your mind. He should be on your mind because He is the only thing that satisfies. You'll realize that you can try to get the things of the world, which sometimes God wants to bless us with, but He really just wants to give us things that will help us fulfill our purpose. Huh. Yeah, cool. Love y'all. Stay in the Word of God and pray. Pray for each other. Pray for your country. Pray for your leaders. All right? You are a leader. So take care of your house the best that you can in your family. But as the Bible said, sometimes he'll break our families up. And then we, so we have to go after other people. But we are all built to be in relationship with God and with people. All right? Love y'all. See you. Bye.